Hey there everybody, this package just arrived. Let's get it open, see what's in there. All right, there it is, LT Wright. The box is a little banged up, but. Okay, this is. Okay, there is the uh, JRE Indus Industries sheath that you get with LT Wright blades. It's a big sheath. Jumbo size leather sheath with a dangler and the lower belt loop and a ferro rod holder. Pretty nice. It's like a chocolate brown. Weep hole there in the bottom. But let's get to what we're all here for, which is the blade. All right. Wrapped in that yellow kind of wax paper that LT Wright uh, wraps their blades in. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's got two wraps on it. It's so big they had to use two pieces of, of uh, wax paper. Set that aside. There is the blade. This is matte black canvas micarta. And it just has solid brass hardware, not the normal uh, fisheye pins. But it also has a brass uh, eyelet there for putting a lanyard on it. It's full tang as you can see. Let's see this blade. Oh yeah. This is a Kephart kind of design. It's uh from the tip goes right through the center. And uh what else? It's this is a full flat grind on this one. They do have a saber version of this and a full convex version of this. And it's my understanding that this one is the full flat. I kind of wish I would have got the uh, full convex, but this is what they're offering right now. It's got the pout house on it, the LT Wright pout house. And then it has the O for because it's in the O1 tool steel. Yeah, nice spear point design. It's just like a, a like a wide cap art, which is pretty cool. It's got the scallops, the thumb scallops up here, so you can pinch up on it if need be. You can also come up onto it like this. Use it for some carving tasks. I really like the handle on this one. That's a big chonky handle i think they call it a broomstick handle and it does it feels like a like a thick broomstick in the hand that's kind of cool i really like this one but let's get some measurements okay this blade is about oh with the cutting edge right there you're looking at Six and uh, three eighths, just a little over six and a quarter. But the overall knife is about 12 inches long. And it gives you a handle of about five and a quarter, five and three eighths, somewhere in there. Let's see how wide this big blade is. It is about one and a little over one and five eighths. It's almost one and three quarters. Real close to one and three quarters. So that is a wide blade there. And you're looking at about three sixteenths for the thickness. Pretty thick. Okay, here is the knife 
right out of the box. I haven't even wiped any oil or anything off of it. Got a piece of uh, catalog paper here. It's real thin. Look at that. That is sharp. Very nice. And I got a little bit thicker piece of printer paper here. Copier paper. We'll see how good he cuts that. Get those nice curved cuts. Yep. Wow. That is like a freaking scalpel. Well, that doesn't really surprise me. Every LT Wright knife I ever purchased always had a awesome edge on it. Oh, it does have a 90 degree spine like all of their blades. Real grippy. You could strike a ferro rod with that with no problems. Quite nice. Okay, here it is inside the sheath. It's in there really well. Nice dangler. And of course you can wet form this sheath if you want to give it some like better looking shape and like squeeze this in a little bit, which I'll probably do. Because this is black canvas micarta, I might even dye this black with leather dye because I think that would just be a good overall look. And wet form it, of course. But yeah, real quality sheaths. I, I really like these. Okay, just for size comparisons, this is it beside a JX2 Jessmuck. This one here is in double red. And it is a CPM3B for the steel. It's got the X. It's got the pout house there. It's got the uh, prepared mind 101. Uh, logo there. But yep. And that is a great bushcraft set there, I'll tell you. And thickness wise, this one is obviously quite a bit thinner than this one. <clears throat> okay, this is it beside the Larry Roberts uh, Gen 6 with the Scandi grind. And this is an A2 tool steel. It's got the little mouse logo on there. But you can see I have this oiled up really good, keeping it in good condition. And this one came with this black sheath, which is pretty nice. But you can see this sheath is a little larger, just a little. Okay, here it is beside the Sospies knife from uh, LT Wright. It was a design from uh, William Myers from Mantis Outdoors. But you can see this one is wider and longer. But I love these blades. Definitely do. You can see it's th pretty thick too. What I like about the sauce bees is how it stays thick, clear to the tip. And I love the Scandi grind. But this one gets a little thinner at the tip, and it's a full flat. But I haven't really got a chance to take this one out and use it yet, and I want to do that. Well, this video is a little bit rushed because I'm running out of uh, light here. I'm trying to use some of the light from the window mixed with a lamp, but you know how it goes. But I just wanted to show you some size comparisons there so you get an idea of just how large this Gen 3 is. And they're available right now. You order it right from the LT Wright Knives site. And I ordered this and it arrived in like two days. I don't even think it, it might have been three, maybe. I'm not sure, but it was so fast. But yeah, 
Hoan tool steel, big, huge camp knife, bushcraft knife, possibly even a survival knife. Big, chunky handle. Feels great in the hand. I mean, wow, that, that is just comfortable. I like the scallops on it. The sharpened spine. It's a pretty neat looking blade. I think I covered everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.